hey everybody so diving straight into this vlog with a voiceover um so had a really busy day and got a late night workout in after i finished with my last client so i was pretty tired didn't want to be in the gym for long so decided to do a 15 minute amrap and first of all started off by loosening up my shoulders and upper back so this is something that I do before any upper body workout and I get a lot of my clients to do it and it is putting a foam roller down by your side putting one leg over the top and laying on top of the other leg one hand out in front of the other and then you just drag your hand round and trying to keep it as close to the ground as possible getting around as far as you can and what that's doing is it's loosening up all around your shoulder all through the um, center of your upper back and just getting your mobility ready to get into the workout. I find if I do this, particularly my left shoulders, are always a bit dodgy. So I find when I do this before a workout, it just feels looser. The exercises just feel so much better. Then I went on into a 15 minute am wrap. So like I said, I wanted to be in, out as quick as possible. It's late and I was pretty tired, but I had planned on doing a workout earlier that day didn't get the time so it is one dumbbell snatch in each arm and then you move into a dumbbell bench press 10 reps then straight into pull-ups nine reps then straight into leg raises eight reps then you go back into the dumbbell snatches and you add another rep in so the next one is two reps on each arm of dumbbell snatches and then you do the same 10 bench press and nine pull-ups eight leg raises and then three dumbbell snatches in each arm and so on scaling that so it's pretty much a full upper body workout and doing am wraps like this i like them and i incorporate them quite a lot at the end of my workouts with clients just a great way of getting the heart rate up and getting a maximum amount of work in a short period of time so very little rest so you're going to get some cardiovascular element from that but I'm also going to be building muscle building strength because I'm using strength based exercises um, so hitting my chest here hitting my back hitting my abs and hitting my shoulders as well so all in all a pretty decent way to work out um, I eventually ended up getting to eight on each side with the snatches so that's how you judge it kind of how many rounds you've done is how high in the repetitions can you get with the snatches and then you can even come back to that workout in a few weeks time and test it again and try and beat that score so that's what's quite good about doing AMRAP styles workouts and it's just about pushing yourself and doing that maximum amount of work you can in that short period of time. Great thing to do if you're working out at home, if you've got a garage gym, if you're working out in a hotel or like what I'm doing here. I've only got 15, 20 minutes in the gym and I want to work as hard as I possibly can in that time. So this stops you from looking at your phone. It stops you from chatting to other people. And it just is about putting in maximum amount of effort in a short period of time so give it a try
from the gym. Had a crazy busy day today. Um, so, I had clients this morning, clients in the middle of the day. Then I went over to Pinewood to film something with a friend. Um, just some advert sort of projects that I'm working on. Um, so spent an hour over at Pinewood doing that. I'm actually a bit annoyed at myself because I wish that I had got some of that on here as well. Just thought it'd be pretty cool to shoot. Um, then I had to go back to the gym for the evening, train more clients. And then I wanted to work out today but didn't get a chance because so busy, had so many different things to do, had to fit in walking the dog and all that kind of stuff and eat, would you believe it? You've got to eat as well, you've got to try and find time for that. Um, so I decided to finish off with that workout that you've just seen. So I wanted to just do a quick 15 minutes workout because it was like 9 o'clock I finished with my last client wanted to get in and out of the gym. So I did a quick 15 minute, as many rounds as possible. Um, and I've spoken through the workout already. So that has been today pretty much wrapped up. Um, and tomorrow, got some pretty cool footage coming, I think. Um, we've got a few things to do. We gotta get baby stuff out of the loft, so we've got to get baby clothes out of the loft and start sorting through the stuff to get the sort of hospital bag ready to go and start trying to get some stuff ready, which I think is going to be quite tough because we had, um, you know, put all that stuff back in the loft after Henry, so most of it is boys clothes, but obviously some of it is going to be like unisex stuff, it's going to be you know, white baby grows, and we want to see, kind of remember what we've got up there. Um, we've got the uh, baby bag and stuff up in the loft. So we want to get all that down and get it all ready um, for when the new baby arrives. So that might be a bit of a tough thing because last time putting it all back in the loft was not what we wanted to do. It was quite an emotional thing. Um, and yeah, I actually ended up doing it on my own last time. So after we lost Henry for weeks, the stuff was just sitting in the room, um, all washed, all in the drawers. And basically, like I think it was about two or three weeks before I got round to thinking, do you know what, you know, let's pack it all back into vacuum seal bags and stick it up in the loft. Um, I did it on my own because of like Katie was not in a place to get involved with that. So it was quite tough. Um, so yeah, might be a bit of an emotional thing. I don't know. So that's what's on the agenda tomorrow. Gonna get another workout in. Um, it's a bit more of a quiet day tomorrow for me in terms of clients. So I've got other things that I'll be getting done. So gonna bring you along on that as well. Um, and just try and bang out some content for you guys. So finishing off for the evening and gonna be going to bed in a minute. See you in the next one.